Hi, I'm Anthony Ward and welcome to this tutorial for 3D World magazine. What we're going to focus on this time round is building this little guy who you can see here. Now, rather than just build a high resolution version of him and render him out, this time we're going to do two steps. We will be building a high resolution version of him, but then we're going to take that and convert it into a game model. So this will then be suitable to go into an Xbox, PlayStation 3, or any sort of console or handheld device. Now as you can imagine, this is gonna this could potentially be quite a long and in-depth tutorial. So what I'm going rather than just record hours upon hours upon hours of video, what I'm going to do is at the beginning of each video in this series, I'll give an overview of what we're going to do and the main areas we're going to focus on. And then I'll probably time lapse a lot of the modeling um, and a lot of the longer procedures like the model optimization, UVing, and the initial building of a lot of the models. Now you can then slow that down uh, to look at it a bit more in depth. or you And I will obviously slow it down when I'm covering key points. Uh, and you can also refer to the text in the magazine if you need to. Uh, so that's enough of an introduction. Like I say, we're going to create this little ninja guy here. He's quite stylized, but we need a starting point. Uh, and with, with any model, you need a starting point. And what we're going to do is we're just going to flesh out a, a base mesh. Now this will just be his body, um, which we can then use that and then we'll dress it give him his clothing and add his hair, weapons and other things. So for this I'm going to use Never Center Silo. If you've seen my tutorials before you'll know that this is a favorite application of mine. I always tend to use it for my modeling. Um, it's subdivision surfaces so you can follow these procedures in any other application. So I will bring up Silo and what I'm going to do is just start off with a cube and this is going to be his head. I'm going to subdivide it twice and as you can see that gives us a sphere but it's totally made up of quads. So we will refine that which bakes in that subdivision giving us that extra geometry. So I can smooth it again and we will smooth shade it. As you can see we've got a smooth head shape. What I'll do is I will just move the concept over to one side so I can look at that while I'm modeling. Now his head is more of an oval type shape like so. And what we're going to do for the rest of his body is basically this. Select, extrude, pull out. In fact for that we may scale it in a bit just to give him a thinner neck another extrude, pull out like so and I'll just delete those bottom faces and then we can just select those and smooth to round off that area there. Again we'll just go in, extrude and then from here we can start to build the rest of his body. Just by extruding and adjusting that base geometry. Now as I said in the introduction this will be one of those points where I'm just going to taper off and we'll go into time-lapse mode so we can speed up the whole modeling process but it's just the same procedure extruding elements and adjusting the shapes to get the uh, the base mesh and the base body of our character.
So there we have his really basic base mesh. As you can see, it didn't take long to make. And what we can do now is we can continue on with this and refine the shape, uh, adjust the hands a bit more and the overall body. Just make sure you're comparing the proportions against the concept image or whatever image you're working from if you're doing a different sort of character. Just to make sure the basic proportions are correct. Now what I would do now is I would save this out like that and then go away for half an hour and then come back to it because what you may notice is there may be something wrong with the topology or the hands may not look right but you need to take a break and we need to vary those finger lengths actually see just having a break from one area and coming back to another and you can notice stuff, stuff straight away now I'm not going to linger too much on this base model and that is because we're basically going to cover it all up we're going to build the clothing and his hair and his eyes and all sorts of other bits and bobs so his body will eventually be uh, covered up and we won't be able to see it so you have to weigh up what you need to spend time on and what you can get away with just doing quickly so in this instance we've got this base mesh we can save that out we can tweak it later if we're going to see more of the body or we can save it for another project um, so I'm going to leave this video here what we'll do in the next video is we will start to look at building in his clothing uh, this may be slightly different because I may do a bit more work on it between now and then like I say I'm going to leave it for a bit and come back and do a few more tweaks um, but that's it for now I'll uh, see you in the next video